Building, making, doing. These terms symbolize some of the fundamental differences between learning organic chemistry from a textbook or lecture versus learning through the hands-on techniques inherent in an organic chemistry laboratory course. Specifically, the skills necessary to succeed at the bench involve the ability to work with your hands building apparatus, combining chemicals safely, separating mixtures, isolating products, and identifying compounds and analyzing them with instrumentation. Put simply, hands-on learning. The vast majority of students taking my organic chemistry laboratory class not only have very little experience handling the large quantity of glassware and equipment in their drawers, but have minimal experience with hands-on activities that require manual dexterity, fixing things, reacting to observations, and quantifying their success through their ability to make something. I would wager that the majority of students are more comfortable operating their computers and cell phones than using a screwdriver and repairing a broken chair. As a result, most students enter my organic laboratory course intimidated by the large drawer full of unfamiliar glassware staring up at them, and even more so when they read a procedure about how to assemble it into a useful apparatus to perform a function. Many students are nervous and afraid of making mistakes, breaking glassware, or ruining their experiments. My idea was to create a series of videos with the following goals. First, I wanted to illustrate step by step how to build an apparatus or perform a technique while explaining the whys for this connects here and it's best to secure the flask there. This would provide a deeper learning experience not possible from looking at a still photo or diagram in a textbook. I hypothesized that a student that was more confident in the hands-on manipulations could then focus more intently on the chemistry performed as well as the critical thinking and problem-solving skills required in experimentation. Second, I hope to preempt the common mistakes that I have observed students making year after year after year. Third, I plan to use the videos as a resource for new graduate teaching assistants who have vastly diverse backgrounds and now need to conform to the teaching protocols particular to my course. The videos should help them succeed as new TAs with confidence. So to work. To find out what might appeal to the Millennium student, I hired two undergraduate TAs, Katie and Eric, to help me create the videos. They were instrumental in deciding the length of each video, writing scripts, giving me prompts during filming, and were the stars of the helpful tips videos where one is helping the other who is making a common error. They were great, and I could not have succeeded without them, especially when it came to picking music and editing out my many bloopers during filming. Additionally, the project could not have been successful without the amazing OIT filming by David Lineman and the support of Kem Sai Chai, a professional peeling template, multiple camera angles, high quality sound and photography, led to the production of 24 technique videos and six tips videos over the course of a year. These were posted on the Organic Chemistry Moodle site as well as the TA resource site. Feedback about the videos has been overwhelmingly positive thus far. Quotes from students include, the videos were a very effective strategy for being well prepared for lab. I would really recommend them to future students in the class. And, coming into Oakham Lab, I did not have much experience with the experimental setup, so getting to watch the videos gave me confidence and lowered my anxiety. As a visual learner, watching the videos was much better than reading about the techniques in the lab manual. Equally as exciting has been feedback from experienced TAs. One commented that, there was a huge increase in the readiness of students from previous semesters. I could tell who watched the videos and who did not, and those that did performed much better. Another TA said that students had much more confidence in setting up the apparatus, and I received fewer questions about which pieces of glassware were supposed to be used in specific situations. My first-time TAs stated that the videos were very helpful for their preparation for teaching. Quote, they were a good review of techniques I have not used in quite some time. And being able to see the exact setups that our students use in the lab definitely gave me confidence for assisting them during the experiments. 
Perhaps the ultimate surprise was a note I found in my mailbox from a fellow faculty member who observed students in the atrium of the chemistry building watching my videos on their phones and commented, such a cool piece of technology you are adding. I think the students are benefiting a lot. The moral of the story for me was that even though I felt making technique videos was not an earth-shattering new idea, in fact, the impact has been significant. Creating videos specific for my course has been an invaluable resource for my TAs and students and well worth the time and effort. I cannot thank the OIT Faculty Fellowship Program enough for this opportunity to improve the quality of the instruction in my organic chemistry laboratory course.